First of all, you need a monomer molecule. I get mine from Moleview. Here we have polyethylene glycol. What I do is I export it to my computer as a mole file. I then use the free software Avogadro to convert it to a PDB format. Now, in Blender, make sure that you have this add-on Atomic Blender that is activated. Hit File, Import, Protein Databank. Select your PDB file. I want a mesh and I will also check the bonds. There it is. Now, I need to edit the molecule so that the atoms can loop. Using the edit mode, I remove one connecting oxygen as well as the associated hydrogen atoms and bond objects. There we go. The idea is that in a chain, this free bond here will connect to the oxygen of the next molecule. Now, Follow me without questions. Hit A to select all, F3 to search and make instances real. Hide any object other than the molecule. Now hit A again, Ctrl J to join all the atoms. You can move the molecule out of the collection and delete the rest of the hierarchy. We do not need it anymore. Right, we have our monomer. Now let's make a polymer. To make things easier for ourselves, I'll move the connecting oxygen in the center. Set the origin to three cursor. Now, rotate the molecule so that the free end sits nicely on the Z-axis. Good, let's see what we have if we add an array modifier. Don't forget to apply the transforms. It works, but you see in my case, the atoms get a bit too close and I don't like it. To fix it, I just duplicate the monomer, move it up and rotate it along the Z-axis. Ctrl J to join. Now let's try again. That's better already. Okay, we are ready for the real magic to start. We are not going to use array modifiers because it's 2024 and we use geometry nodes now. Hide the molecule for the moment and create a Bezier curve. Go to the geometry nodes tab. With the curve selected, hit new. First, we add the curve to points operation and make it so we can choose after which length a new point is generated. Then add the instance on points node. Now, take your monomer object and drag and drop it right into the nodes, boom. Plug geometry to instance and plug the curve rotation to instance rotation. Adjust the scale and the point length so that it matches what you need. You see, I have a slight misalignment in turns. To make it less noticeable, I move the molecule in the edit mode so that the rotation center is now in the center of the monomer. And there we go. Now you can edit your Bezier curve and the geometry nodes will automatically reflow the number of monomers generated and warp them along your curve. If at any moment you want to change the colors, you can do it by editing the materials of the monomer object. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Happy New Year!